Hey guys, this is MJ at His Truly, locating and educating prodigals at risk in these final hours, moments, nanoseconds prior to the rapture of the church, which we know is soon and very soon, imminent. In a minute, it could happen any time. There's nothing that needs to be fulfilled, nothing that needs to happen. Jesus Christ is coming back so very soon. Everything that is surrounding us, the birth pains, the earthquakes, everything, all of this has been planned already. This is a pandemic. If you think that this is, you, that the future is going to get better, or you think that normal is coming back, you're wrong. Jesus is coming back. It's all predicted, prophesied in the Bible. Okay, I wanted to hop on here today and um, share something that I actually, the Lord had me on August 30th here to um, write a letter. And I want to I welcome any new subscribers, by the way. Um, that's a blessing I hopped on today and said I had like uh, double what I had. I haven't looked probably since I began this channel, but um, because this channel is for prodigals, but or anyone who um, is encouraged by it. But um, I want to welcome you and um, thank you for subscribing. And um, anybody who doesn't believe in the eternal security of the believer, please um, go to another channel, pray because I'm not into divisiveness. Um, there is a spirit of divisiveness right now in the church, in the body of Christ, and nobody's interested in those comments unless you truly are seeking the truth and the truth will set you free. There is nothing that we can do to save ourselves. There is nothing that we can do to keep ourselves. Jesus Christ did it all, okay? A hundred percent. He won the victory on Calvary. The blood of Jesus is our only atonement that makes God happy. He is the remediation for our sin. He is the in-between between God and man, okay? Or woman, okay? So no one can come to the Father except through Jesus. No one. Okay, not Buddha, not Allah, not anybody. Not the prayers of your ancestors, your mother, your grandmother, uh, regardless of how religious they are. First of all, Jesus isn't religious, never was. Okay, his biggest rebukes or the Pharisees and the Sadducees, who were the religious leaders of that day, his day. Okay, so Jesus is not a religion. He's not a set of rules, a uh, set of documents that um, we do or don't do, all right? He is our savior, all right? So if you're on here to dispute that fact, um, you know, go, go somewhere else because I'm not into divisiveness. But anyway, the Lord had me um, write this and put it in the front of my Bible. This is my Bible. Okay, that's just, um, I want to keep my Bible in, but, and somebody will get it, you know, because, um, the tribulation is upon us, the rapture first, we are going to be raptured in the twinkling of an eye. Um, I don't know when, uh, but it is momentarily, I'll tell you, if you're not saved, you need to get saved. The ABC is the salvation. I'll be speaking in here, but I have linked a description in the description box and anything else that you might need, um, to whoever receives this Bible. You must believe that it is true. Every word, every stance, every chapter was left behind, especially for you. The rapture has occurred. The church has disappeared. The tribulation is upon you, but hold, hold fast to Christ and do not fear. Accept, that's the A, accept that Jesus Christ is the only Savior. B, believe his death and resurrection from the grave was especially for you. C, call upon his name. He has promised to save and deliver you. Soon you will be required to take the mark of the beast, a decision that will bring you into eternal hellish defeat. Only those who take it. Okay, I plead with you, dear reader, to refuse this with all of your might. For this, you will lose your life and put an end to your earthly fight. But for those who have chosen Jesus Christ, the rewards are eternal and true. No eye has seen, no ear hath heard the beauty awaiting you, your sister in Christ, Mary Jo, MJ. So I have that in the front of my Bible and, you know, along with probably this book and the other books that I've written, um, I have many scattered around the house that um, some of them will find, you know, and if you think it's bad now and you're not saved, the tribulation will be horrific. You need to know Jesus Christ as your personal savior. Okay, you need to, he is our deliverance. And people say, oh yeah, you believe in the, I'm, I'm a pre-trib all the way. 
pre-tribulation. I mean, we don't go through the tribulation. The Bible says that we are not appointed to wrath. Okay, God is not a wife beater. He doesn't put us through that crap and then, you know, whatever they believe. Okay, God does not do that. God loves us beyond anything we can ask, think, or ever hope for. Beyond any love that we've ever known. All right, so if you don't know him, come to him today while you still yet have chance before the tribulation. Oh, because, because we will be raptured, beloved, in the twinkling of an eye. Okay, that's faster than you can bat your eyelash. And um, you don't want to be left behind. All right, God bless you guys. Until next time, uh, I might do a video tonight. I just wanted to come on here and share that. Um, I had an urgency to share that. So um, look up our redemption draws and I. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.